Okay, so it's been a while since I made a video about a guitar or any other instrument, but uh, I still would like to work on them. I told a buddy that uh, I was kind of learning how to work on stuff, and he said, well, hey, I got an old banjo. Maybe you could take a look at it and see if you could make it play. And so I brought it home to take a look. When I got it, it had about three strings left on it, and I just cut them off. I wish I'd have saved them to measure it and see what the, the gauge of the strings were. And the neck on it was bent into a banana shape. And so I uh, adjusted the truss rod on it and straightened the neck out. Now the neck looks like it's pretty straight. Well, I think it'll live. One of the tuners on it was uh, seized up. Get that in the frame there. So I took the tuner off. It's a style of tuner. It's got a, a guitar style tuner on it. It's not got the, the planetary geared banjo tuners like a lot of them I've seen. I've learned a lot about banjos looking stuff up on the internet here lately. Anyway, the tuner seized up. The knob twisted off. I couldn't find a tuner for less than about $30 or $40 for a guitar style tuner. You know, there was some on eBay, but they're all you know antique originals and they want a lot of money for them so I just ordered a set of tuners from Stumac and they look very similar one of the holes is just not quite right so anyway I'm gonna put them on it and get it tuned up and I got the truss rod adjusted when I got it there was so much wood down in here that I couldn't get the truss rod wrenched in in there so I just got a, a razor blade and I just kinda shaved out just barely enough wood that I could get the the hex key or the Allen key, if you want to call them that, down in there and got the truss rod straightened out. So then I've got me some new tuners. We'll get tuners on it, get it tuned up, and also I'm going to take it apart because it's got some of these uh, these rings here, or J hooks, that hold the, the head on it are loose. So I'm going to take the resonator off the back of it, clean it all up, tighten up all the J hooks until they're a uniform tightness. I learned a few things about that I'll, I'll share with you here in the next video. And then I'll uh, string it up, put the bridge back on it, and see if we can get it to play. Maybe I'll take a couple days and learn how to play banjo a little bit before I give it back. So anyway, that's my new fun project. See if I can make this old banjo play. I'm not sure who built it. There's no name on it. Whoever built it wasn't proud enough of it to put their name on there. So I'm sure it's probably inexpensive, made offshore somewhere there's a number on it 4008A I have no idea what that means so anyway I'll give you an update as I go along with it It's like the neck angle must have been a little bit off at some point. Somebody put some shims in here. It looked like matchsticks. Like from what I've you know, learned on the internet, watching YouTube videos, I guess that's pretty acceptable to put a shim in there, but I don't think I would have used a matchstick, so we'll pull that out and try to fix the neck angle too, as long as we've got it apart. Now I gotta find a a wrench will fit those. Okay, we'll be back.
flat washer here and then the lock washer. I think I would have put that in a little differently so the lock washer is not cutting into the body of the banjo. I'd put a lock washer between the flat washer and the nut, but that's just me. Stick shims that we had in there. Got it all broken down. I'll go around and redo all those. <clears throat> and see about getting this out. See if we can get that tuner out of there. Well, here we are. <laughs>